Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another project for this year's Valentine series and this is a Everlasting or Infinity card, that's what they're known as. I have made one of these before, made one a couple of years ago and I just thought I'd like to make it again. It's a really fun card, it's a very very easy card and I thought Infinity and Everlasting was quite a nice named card for Valentine's. So. I've made this one here. This is one. This is going to be for my nan, and it doesn't matter that I say that because she won't see the tutorials. She doesn't watch these um, unless you know one of us is with her. So I know that nobody will show her. So you're all seeing this before she does. You know that she's my biggest fan, and I love making cards for her. So that's why on the front here it says the best. And then all you do is you fold it this way, and it brings brings it opens up this section. So I've got here you're the bomb and I've done all this, um, I love using the mirrored cardstock, it's kind of my thing at the moment. Then you fold it like so. It naturally wants to go this way as well, so don't worry, don't think, oh gosh, I won't remember that, it just falls that way. Then you've got this one here, and this is gonna have photos on it, and then you go that way, and this is gonna have a photo here, and it says Happy Valentine's Day, and then they fold down that way, and it takes you back to the beginning. And the nice thing about these is they also can stand up. So they do make really fun cards, they're great for kids' birthdays, um, well anybody, they're just a nice interactive card but I really enjoy making these and they're, like I said, they're super quick and really fun to decorate and customise and all that fun stuff. So once again, just a bit quicker, so that way, you can see that one already wants to start to fall, that way, that way, and then that way. Now I have made an 8x8, this is a 6x6 and it fits perfectly in a 6x6 pre-made envelope which I've got below there. The 8x8 one, if you do want to make a bigger one, I will share that up here and I've also got another 6x6 version in that tutorial and you can um, just take a look at those if you did decide but also if you just want a bit more inspiration on other ways to decorate them because those ones are birthday um, themed ones as opposed to these ones which are a bit more obviously with the hearts and yeah, valentines. So that's what we're going to make. We'll pop that one up there to one side. I've got all the bits and pieces here and my envelope all ready for that one. The papers I'm using, so all through this week I am using these. So these are the free downloadable papers from the craft blog. So www.thecraftblog, which is the Trimcraft website, and they always give you free downloads. And I did share these ones, and these are obviously what they are. So if you haven't you know, seen any of the other tutorials yet, these are all free downloadables, um, which I have printed on smooth 300 GSM cardstock white okay so that's what I made for the card I just showed you but for this one I've got the forever free because there are some really nice parts in this and it, I've made it you know still a Valentine's card but just in a slightly different style so that's the ones I used there so I'm just going to go through what you need grab my board here so for the main card itself, it's a very, very unusual way of putting it together, but you actually need four pieces of six by three. Now, if you want to make the eight by eight size one, then you would need four pieces of eight by four, okay? But like I said, for all the extras and stuff, do head over to those tutorials if you want to see. So four pieces, now I'm using white. I used pink card stock for that other card, but for this one, I'm using white as my base. So like I said, three by six. Now what you want to do is you want to do your scoring and then you want to do it all again on the other side. So I've already gone and scored all of these on one side, I'm now going to score them on the other. So every single one along the long side, you want to score at one and a half inches. So I'm going to use my other, that one I find too sharp. I'm going to use, so this one, sorry, so yeah, score at one and a half and then four and a half. Okay, and then you would flip it over and score again, but I've already done that, so I'm just doing it again, because these are actually gonna be folding in both directions, so that they're all, they're all, they are more like a hinge. So you wanna do that on every one. So again, I've got this one here, so at, put it up that way, one and a half, and four and a half, okay? And just do that on both sides on all of your pieces. Okay, so then you just need to burnish them, and you're gonna burnish them in both directions, so you wanna fold in half, and then in half again. Well, not in half, you're just folding. Fold that way and then that way, okay? Because now they can comfortably move and you shouldn't have any cracking because you've scored them on both. This again is 300 GSM smooth cardstock, which is from Paper Mill Direct. So again, I will share the links to that, but it's a really strong 
really nice cardstock. So I'm just getting them all burnished up. The card itself, with most cards really, are very quick to put together. It's then all of your decoration, your matting and layering that tends to take a lot longer. Okay, so those now are all ready to use and we will put them together in a moment. Now, for all your mats and layers, use this to measure. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Now, if you wanna do it like me, I've got mirrored cardstock as my largest um, mat here. So I've got eight pieces that are two and three quarters squared, and that's what I've used as the gold. Then on top of that, I've just dropped down by a quarter of an inch, so that's a two and a half by two and a half square, and you'd need eight of them. Okay, so eight that are two and three quarters squared and eight that are two and a half squared. If you wanna go again, which I did on that other card, so you'll see here, I've got this other one again. So I've got the silver, then the white, and then a pattern. But I've done this one slightly different. That pattern one there is two and a quarter squared. Okay, so two and three quarters, two and a half, and two and a quarter. Again, all these measurements will be over on my blog. So that's everything for those ones. Then you will need eight, of these ones here. So again, the gold is one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then the one on top is one by two and a half. Yeah, and you'd need eight of them. Now I've just decorated my, I've done four of them with that gold strip through the middle. It's about, it's about three eighths of an inch, just over a quarter by the two and a half length. Again, it will all be on my blog, but I've done four like that, that one there, and then the other four I've just decorated with some gold hearts on it. Once I put it all together and you see how it will all come together, obviously then that will help you decorate. You can decorate last. I know how I'm putting mine together, which is why I've already done that, and I wanted to keep the tutorial short, and that's why I've also gone and stuck you know, a lot of it together, and I've got all my double-sided tape ready as well. So, oh, I just stack them all up and then I drop them all. Okay, then the last one is these eight smaller squares and you will need the larger one is one and a quarter inch squared and then the smaller one on top is one inch squared and I used my one inch square punch to do those ones so that was super quick and again eight of those so that's everything you need got to remember the patterns and uh, the layout I had but I think I can still remember that's all of that there so that's everything you need now we need to just stick this one together so what is going to happen is you're going to have two like so, going this direction, and then two that will go that direction. Okay, so two that way, and these two are gonna go that way. So what we want to do is, I'm gonna pop those two up there, like so, and these two like that. You are going to, it might help you, you don't wanna score this, you just wanna use a pencil. So let me just grab Okay, so with these two top pieces here, so this, this is one and a half inches, okay? You're gonna come down one and a half and just put a faint little mark there. Just put a very faint little pencil mark. And again on this one, at one and a half. Okay, so you can just see those two pencil marks. And then again, you wanna do the same. So you're basically just marking the middle because it's three inches in total, so just one and a half and one and a half. You'll be doing this in pencil so you can rub it out, you may see it. Okay, then what you wanna do is add some tape within that one and a half area. So I'm just adding two strips and ripping it along the way because I haven't got my little tool at hand. There we go, so you can see there, you don't need to add a lot at all. If I just bring that up, you can see I've just added tape just above that green little marker I've put there and there, just on the side bits. You don't want to go anywhere in here, just on these side pieces. Then on this one, you're going to do it on the bottom too. So on this one, we've gone and done it towards the top. This time we're going to go towards the bottom. So this time we're staying below that marker that we've just, you know, uh, marked. So that one and that one. Okay, so you should have these two at the top and these two at the bottom. Then I'm just gonna grab my pokey tool. Take all of your backing off. Okay, so taking all the backing off, I'm gonna grab this one first, kind of just pop that one to one side. So you've got the one with the top. I'm gonna to go to the top right-hand side and you want to 
match the top right of this piece up to the top right of that one and just make sure they're nice and straight at the top and get it completely lined up as close as you can like so and just stick that down okay so all that will be stuck is just that corner just that little one and a half by one and a half square so that's that one and then I'm going to grab this one here and you want to stick this one towards the top left but what you want to do is you want to sit it next to this you don't want it going over the top of this piece so you just want to almost join it back together as if you if as if you hadn't cut it keeping it nice and laid laid nice and lined up at the top and then go down don't worry if you have little bits like I've got a very not even a millimeter it's not even it's just not even a measurement but there's a very tiny bit there that really really doesn't matter it will be okay so that's those two flip it over so you can now see that one okay so that's the one we just stuck it onto then with this piece I've got my sticky bits here at the bottom flip it over so they're both at the bottom and then stick it down okay so again actually go hit that one okay you can see there you want it to sit nicely next to that and then as best as you can line it all up okay like so so now it doesn't matter which way whether you start that way but you want your doors opening as if it's a gatefold like so so then you will open it and now you have to just reburnish some of your score lines so that's that one and then it will want to fold that way so again and as long as you kind of made sure they lied next to each other and didn't go over you shouldn't have any catching okay so I can see there none of my you know card is is rubbing against each other if it is then you just need to go along with your you know scissors and just gently just kind of take a little bit off or put it put it through your trimmer and take a very small slither off but I'm happy that that is run that's you know moving freely and the more you start to move it you can see how quickly now that's starting to come together okay and also try it both ways so when you bring it around see now you've got it that's kind of your the get the gatefold I guess where you start no hang on I've got to go one more that way there you go so your your start should have the two panels there on that side and then also on that side so you can start with this side and go around and you might find it catches a little bit or that one might actually flow better so if I just bring that back to its original so there's where I started no there's where I started <laughs> flip it over and then I've got this one if I go from this side see that one I think feels better so I'm now going to have that as my beginning so do do play around with it because it does make a difference to whether you start from that side or that side see because they're the same so I already had love you which is going to go on like so then I've got my XOXO which is going in a separate part along the top pieces was the hearts so I've got one two three four and look how instantly it transforms the card it just comes together as soon as you decorate it now I've already put my double-sided tape on all of this so I'm going to get this all stuck down okay so that's the front all stuck okay then open it up and that becomes your next page so in this one here all you want to stick down is I'm going to have my message so I've got love you to pieces so I'm going to put two blah 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 love you to pieces and then obviously my name and I've got that one to go in the top then you've got four squares here and I had these ones so one two three four don't worry about these bits for the minute so I'm going to go and get those ones now stuck down okay so that's now those ones what I would say is when you go to decorate is first of all just decorate all of your mats so in my case that would be the gold pieces do all that first and once you start to get that together then you can decide how you want to decorate it further now fold it that way and then we can decorate in here so this is where I've got my XO XO and I am hoping I'm going to cover those blue pencil marks otherwise I'll have to use my magic eraser and then I've got these ones this will flatten itself out once it's been used more by going on those ones. So now I'm going to get them stuck down. 
Okay, so that's now that one, and then open it up and you have got this one left. So it's basically the front, but obviously the other way. So now I'm gonna pop my birds in the middle, which are gonna have photos popped on, and then that's that way. And then you'll be left with these four, and they are gonna stick in there. Now if you want to put any embellishments you can but don't go too bulky and if you're going to add flowers everything has to stay within its section so if you're going to add, an, add any flowers make sure they don't overhang past any of the score lines and that goes for any of the, the pages when they fold out because it will get caught up obviously during the folding. So again I'm going to go and get these all stuck down. So that is the card done. So now when you fold that last one over you're back to the beginning again. So now it's so much easier to to maneuver to actually work it just falls perfectly so play around with it when you put it together at the very beginning check folding it in both ways like i showed you and if one folds better then start with that i really love that page i think that's gonna be nice once i've wrote my little message in there i'm gonna put a photo there and you can see the xo so you want to kind of think about that as well when you have it open on each page is how it's going to look before the next one gets folded because obviously they can see the XO there so that's nice. If you're going to write anything you want it to kind of be you know in a vertical um, format as opposed to horizontal because if you were to have a word and they could only see the maybe first few letters. So just bear that in mind because I didn't. Um, if you look back at my old video, I done that so that you would open each page and kind of move it, which still works really nice. And you know, I did like that card still. So there are a few different ways of doing it. And then again, obviously, then that one gets revealed, really, really nice. And I just, again, I'm just so in love with using this foiled, you know, the mirrored card stop at the moment. And then that one's going to have photos on it. These are brilliant. My dad really liked this because it was obviously, you know, a a real fun card to use so I think these are great for guys and especially if they've got a hobby you can have you know different parts of their hobby on every page that gets opened but yeah the more you do it it's just it is it's great everlasting or infinity card so yeah I think they are fab so that's that one get all of this out of the way like I said there is a lot of matting and layering to them that's you know I'd say the timely part and then there's that one there which I adore as well I'll just show you that one again you're the bomb Got photos going in there, and another one there, you can see. So that's using the silver of the Dovecraft mirrored cardstock, and that's using the gold. But they just look so good, and the, the great thing is, is that they can be displayed. I love cards that can stand up, so whenever there is some kind of fun fold or mechanical card, it's got to stand for me. <laughs> so, yeah, there you have them. I think they're great. So if you haven't seen them before, I hope you like these. I hope you do give them a go. As always, please go and share them over on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook page. So I've got Mixed Up Craft, um, sorry, my Mixed Up Craft page, and then there's the Mixed Up Crafters group. And there's, a, there's nearly a thousand wonderful crafters on there now who are sharing so many amazing... Um, variations of what I share and it's just a great group so do go over there and check it out but otherwise you can send them privately to me on my Facebook page which I always love to see as well but until then I will be back again tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching I'll see you soon bye